and so on guys hope sure you all going this is said khan uh, today we are going to learn about the parameters and stability and uh, we will learn about uh, parameter stability through cousin test cumulative sum of recursive residuals so uh, first of all uh, what is the purpose behind this test uh, we uh, measure the we know about the parameters and uh, stability uh, just because of uh, we want to know about the coefficients changing behaviors means uh, we want to learn or we want to know either our coefficients are changing uh, systematically or suddenly so guys look here we will check the stability through different two tests first one is cumulative sum test first test is cumulative sum test cumulative sum test uh, help to show if coefficient of the regression are changing systematically so cumulative sum test uh, will tell about uh, either our coefficients means the coefficient of regressions are changing uh, systematically or not and we have an other test and that is cumulative sum of square test uh, on the base of this test uh, we will know either our coefficients are changing suddenly or not so this is a reference so guys again uh, we will check the stability of parameters uh, through um, two different tests uh, first one is cumulative sum test and second is cumulative sum of square test so the purpose of both of test is to know about the changing behavior of the parameters and parameters are coefficients means our uh, variables hey guys and so what are the null hypothesis null hypothesis parameters are stable our null hypothesis is parameters are stable that is desirable so we desire that our parameters uh, parameters are stable so uh, we would like to accept null hypothesis uh, null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis is parameters are not stable which are not desirable so guys uh, what is guideline about the acceptance or rejections uh, of null hypothesis or the alternative hypothesis Uh, look here if we find uh, first i would like to show you these are the results of these test hey guys uh, you are watching here two red lines uh, upper red line red line and lower red lines basically red lines are bounds uh, value or bounds at 5% now null hypothesis our null hypothesis parameters are stable while alternative hypothesis parameters are not stable so we wish uh, that our parameters are stable so for this we must accept null hypothesis so what is the guideline guideline number 1 if we find blue line if we find blue line this this line if we find blue line between or within red lines we accept null hypothesis which is desirable see again if if this line exist between or within two red lines like uh, here we call it parameters are stable so in this case we will accept null hypothesis which is desirable the other case is second guideline if blue line across the red lines means if this line cross these two lines in this case we call it parameters are not stable and which is not desirable and uh, now we are going to 
test using a views 9 friends uh, i have my three variables co2 gdp and oil suppose i have run ardl suppose i have run ardl model so learn about the ardl um, my core purpose is not uh, sharing about the ardl just i am assuming that i have run ardl model and uh, i want to know about the st stability of parameters hey guys uh, i am running ardl bound bounds base and uh, done these are these are results of my ardl model so freeze the results freeze name ARDL. Okay. ARDL. So see here, go to view, and because of uh, I want to know or I want to test stability of the parameters, so uh, click on stability diagnostics, and here you see there is a no QSM test. So what is the guideline? You have no need to be worried. Just click on representations. Click on representation yeah copy your first equation yeah i have copied my first equation and now go to estimate simple regression go to estimate and paste here run you see guys your uh, results are same like in ardl check here c1 uh, point three double zero point three double zero hey guys uh, c5 minus zero point two eight minus zero point two eight so your results are not changed now so for cruising test go to view now stability diagnostic and now see here recursive estimates Hey guys, uh, as I talked about two different tests and first one cumulative sum test which will uh, tell us uh, either our coefficients are changing systematically or not and because uh, um, my null hypothesis parameters are stable. So select Cousin test and okay hey see here our blue uh, line is within the uh, red lines so in this case i can say that uh, my parameters are stable now um, so go to view residuals uh, sorry stability diagnostic recursive estimate and now cosm of scare test uh, look here our second test was cumulative sum of scare test uh, which will tell about uh, either our very uh, our coefficients or parameters um, changing suddenly or not so guys uh, again here click so our null hypothesis was uh, parameters are stable so in this case see here our blue line is within the red lines our blue line is within the red line so you can say uh, that our parameters are stable so thank you so much and um, for being with for being with me and last how you can represent your results so here look here this is 
published article see guys you can just copy the graphs from here you can just copy the graph and paste in your thesis of article once again thank you so much and please comment for improvement for um, your valuable um, comments will be appreciated thank you so much again thank you so much take care